what's up beautiful magical people i hope you guys are having a wonderful monday so let's just jump right in welcome to advice from the wife and i'm me the wife and i just wanted to talk to you guys about um marriage and giving you the advice that i have for marriage and things like that so let's just cut to the chase um this topic today is going to be about living together um so when before i got married my mom um gave me some advice when i first started dating john she gave me some advice and said that you know um don't be a pretend wife and what she meant by that was if you um don't live with the guy and sleep with the guy and have babies for the guy and you know cook for him and clean for him and do all wifely duties that you're supposed to do don't do before you get married because she says most of the time guys are like um most of the time guys are the ones that are not really like into marriage and girls are so if you think oh you know i had a baby for him and i'm cooking and cleaning and living with him when is he gonna pop the question my mom says they're gonna get too comfortable and so when they get too comfortable they're not going to pop the question because you're already doing what a wife should do and i took her advice and i didn't you know i didn't live with him until we got married and that was something that i i chose to because I was we were having premarital sex I've had sex you know he didn't take my virginity I've had sex before and um, you know I did like other things but I've never lived with a guy before so that was something that was special and new in the marriage you know so if you you know most people they aren't virgins anymore and that's understandable if you are that's great you know but if you aren't and you really do value like you really do like marriage and you want to keep something special definitely try to keep living with him special because that's something that you know you could say oh you're my first guy that i've ever lived with so that's good to do and um but yes that is something what i did and it's it's hard you know because of the fact that you know if someone was living with a guy they know how they are before and so me getting married and now living with a guy, it's so much harder because now this is a marriage. Like if I didn't like him, you know, how he was when I was living with him before I got married, I would have been like, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I have to break up with you. I need to find someone cleaner or I can't deal with this. This is a, I, uh, this is a, um, this is really like the last straw. You know what I'm saying? And, um, then like but now i'm married i can't just say okay no I, I need a divorce you didn't pick up your socks like goodbye you know what i'm saying so like it's like it's like a little bit um easier to like maybe realize and that's a good or bad thing because you could just flip out because he didn't put the soap in the right place and that's the last straw and you never talked to him again because you're so mad and it was just because of stupid soap and if you're married, you would more think, well, I'm married. I can't divorce him because he didn't put the soap properly. You know what I'm saying? So it could be a good and bad way of looking at it. But yeah, it's a it's very new thing. Like, guys are gross. You know, he's gross. <laughs> um, my husband, yes, he's very gross. He leaves tissues everywhere. He'll use one paper towel to clean up one drop of water. And they get a, and then if he spills another drop of water, he'll get a different paper towel and uses it. And he doesn't throw it out. So that's like so annoying. And then sometimes he'll put them in his pocket. And when I'm doing laundry, I don't realize, like I don't check the pockets. Because usually when I, when I take off my clothes, I make sure everything's out of my pockets before I put it in the laundry hamper. He doesn't do that. And so I'll be washing. And then when it comes out of the dryer, I just see like, paper towels everywhere. I'm like, I didn't put any fabric um, sheets on there, right? And I see this paper towel, I'm like, I can't, I can't with you. <laughs> it's like, he's like so wasteful with the paper towel and he, he just leaves it everywhere. He eats out of something and he'll leave the dish here, like wherever he ate. Um, and that's annoying too because our place is small. So it doesn't take that long to walk to the kitchen and put it in the sink. He doesn't do that. When he cooks, he uses 
every pot in the fucking kitchen messes them up and then fucking like throws them in the sink and expects me to clean them up I'm like nope can't do that I mean like you know I'm okay with cleaning up I'm a wife I should clean up I should do this stuff you know even though you know that's how I believe I'm a wife I should clean if you don't believe that then you don't do that like I wish I can't believe I wish I could believe that but I can't like I want to just be like no I'm not gonna clean up but it just bothers me and so it's a different thing for like like I'm messy so it's like a different thing for like living in your mess and then going and living in someone else's mess it's like and then you have to clean it up it's like really hard to do that so that's another thing that's really hard when moving in you don't know how messy the person is you don't know if um they can clean it like he can't clean dishes like he'll clean them and it will look like he just rinse water in them and that's it like he'll barely use soap and like you'll see little specks of food everywhere I'm like John this is not clean like what are you doing but you know he does other things like he's um he's really good with you know like I cannot like I'm a germaphobe so I cannot clean the bathroom for nothing like I really want to and I really try but I can't especially since we live in a house that's not new like it, it we live in his attic of his his father's house and like they're you know it's his dad's house guys are dirty so like he didn't really clean it properly and so there's like gunk everywhere and I just can't like that's not my gunk like I cannot clean up to, after something that is not mine I can't clean off it af after anyone else's pee I can't clean up anyone else's like dirt or skin or hair it makes me gag it makes me sick so he does that he cleans the bathroom for me because he knows I'm a germaphobe we got a new fridge we got a new um a new stove but before that I never touched those things I never cleaned them I, I made him clean all of that so he's really good with that he's really good because he knows that I'm a germaphobe and I can't deal with like filth like that so that is something that I have to say that he does and you know that's the pro of living with someone else like if I would have moved into this house say I rented this place I would have no one to I would have to clean it up myself and I'd probably like pass out and die because it'd be so gross and I just like can't I'd probably like torch the place I'd be like nope 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 can't do it so that's something good about living with someone something also bad is that he sleeps really bad he is a horrible sleeper. He kicks me off the bed. He'll like go right in the middle and he's a deep sleeper. So like he'll just like roll over on top of me. And I'm just like, oh my God, I can't breathe. What the fuck is going on? And like sometimes he'll like kick me like literally off the bed. Like every time he moves over, like I guess I move over in my sleep and then I move and move and move. And then in the morning, I'm at the edge of the bed, like almost falling off that's something bad but another thing good to live with somebody is um you wake up and go to bed with someone you know you have someone to cuddle with you have someone to talk to you know you have like um someone to watch tv with and be with and things like that um let's see what else is um with household living together um, another thing is don't live with your in-laws yes that's another advice I would say unless you like really love your in-laws and stuff like that I love my in-laws I do but there's a language barrier he's Hispanic I don't speak Spanish his grandma only speaks Spanish his dad is Spanish but not really his whole family is like Spanish orientated so like he's Hispanic so I'm in a household with Hispanics and I don't know what they're saying you know like they'll have a joke and you're like oh I don't get it okay <laughs> like and they'll talk to you in Spanish because they forget that you're not Spanish and you don't know what to say but one thing that's good about that is that it teaches makes me want to learn the language more and I do want to teach my kids Spanish because that's their culture and I want our kids to learn that and so it makes me learn it because I want to be able to talk to my kids and so that's something good about it but yeah don't 
don't live with your in-laws.